Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Xorbs here, and today on today, I'm gonna get, teach you guys how to make this secret item frame door. We just change it to this certain one, go down here. We have our valuables, of course. And then if we go back up here, we can close it. Before we get into it, if you guys could smash like if you want more videos like this, also subs consider subscribing if you want more videos like this. It'll really help, help out my channel and grow as a YouTuber. Let's go and get started. So in this chest right here, we have what we need to get started. A block of your choice, a furnace, two redstone comparators, two redstone repeaters, one sticky piston, uh, it depends on how much redstone dust you need, uh, but redstone dust, redstone torch, item frame, and a uh, thing of your choice, whatever you want to be in your item frame. Pick a pretty plain area to start building. And, you know, you're gonna make a little structure like this. Pretty simple. Bam, you're gonna put item frame right there. You're gonna put it where you want it to be. So I'm gonna have it pointing to the left. And now on the back side, you're going to put your block of choice, a redstone comparator, and then you're gonna build out a little bit, just like that. Place a little bit of redstone until it reaches the end where this is not active. So for example, right here, this is active while this is not. From right here where this redstone block is not active, you're gonna have a redstone repeater and it's going to be facing out from it so this is that way this is out and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have some red whoops uh keep this on one take by the way and you're going to have this built out to right here and you're going to place a block of your choice so that it doesn't connect because as you can see it connects but we don't want that so now right here where this is active we're gonna put a redstone comparator just like that so this is what it's starting to look like and then also we are gonna come back over here to the front we're gonna place our sticky piston and a block of your choice uh for for example this could be a crafting table or a bookshelf or a enchantment table it really doesn't matter once you have that all ready you are going to have redstone dust, a redstone repeater, and then more redstone dust. And right next to sticky piston, you're going to have a redstone torch. And basically now you are done. So if we have this, if we just like put this in its original position and turn it and turn it and turn it until we get there, it'll open up and you can make your little base down here. You can have a little ladder if you want and put whatever you want down here, you know, uh, have a bunch of furnaces or <laughs> diamond swords, I don't care. But you can put ladders down there, leading down there, and as you can see, no other one opens it. Which is really awesome, because it's only that one that opens it. It's relatively simple. Now that we've covered this, I want to show you guys how it works, because it's pretty simple. So, pretty much how it works is, so redstone comparators they can have a item in it so uh an item frame and this is at one so as you can see it's powering one redstone and this is when i turn it twice and as you can see it's turning twice and three times it's powering three redstone and so on and so forth so eventually when i get to my desired Thing that is one two three four five uh, see it's powering one two three four five redstone um, it comes over here and this redstone comparator activates sending a signal to this redstone repeater and sending a signal to this redstone torch which deactivates the redstone torch and uh, deactivates the sticky piston bringing the uh, furnace in and basically what this is over here this uh, redstone repeater right here it is leading so for example if I get another one it'll go back um, and if this wasn't here if that wasn't there it wouldn't do that it would stay open so like it would go 
it would stay open in multiple places which we don't want that is bad the whole reason for that is if we get it to over here uh once it goes one over it'll activate this redstone repeater and then deactivating this um because it's kind of confusing how redstone comparators work but basically the stronger signal strength will deactivate it if it's from the side uh, and it activate reactivates this redstone torch i know this is kind of confusing but it's pretty simple um when you get the hang of redstone but anyway that's about it and also if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys all in the next one be safe and peace out